welcome to today's video. I missed you guys. It feels like I have hardly even been talking to you guys. Sometimes barn stuff gets pulled into the house and then I end up having to bring it all out with me in one big trip. Hi ladies. Hi gentleman. We need some more gentlemans in the house. So Stormy Boy has a blanket on. He's our only horse, blanketed. And it's because he was cold yesterday. It was like rainy and damp. We'll just check and make sure he's not too hot. And being home with them, we can like make sure, we can like put blankets on, put blankets off at any time. Like it's not like he's boarded. <laughs> yeah, even when you're boarded, you gotta take them off, put them on, you're yeah. running to the barn every five minutes, it's horrible. But like for us, we're in and out all the time. We check them. I felt a light flash too. The light flashed before our eyes. I wonder if the camera caught it. I'm afraid. Oh, watch my dog. She's My dog only goes under gates and doors. She doesn't actually wait to wait for the door to be open. She's a girl after my own heart. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Uh, we had Thanksgiving yesterday. We missed so much. Like, we uh, in the last week, I've had two days from no, with no videoing because we were so far up in videos and I had to get them all posted before I could video again. But yeah, I had like two days where we didn't video. It was definitely weird, you guys. I'm not used to not videoing. I don't know what we would do with ourselves if we didn't video. It was nice. It was nice to have a rest. I was still editing. And actually it really helped when I have time to like just sit and edit I can take my time it can take me like six hours to edit a video when I have time so another big change that happened while you guys were gone is winter arrived and it is cold out you go so another thing that happened while you guys were gone we changed the boys stall around now they get this one for now, we'll open the other stall over there still and keep it open for, for them to like use as a shelter. But anyway, they have that little house. that was gonna be a lot harder than it was so here's the other stall unfortunately it's empty but I am leaving hay in here so that and that door open so that they can come in and out I'm also going to be putting plastic on all these doors today today we are building stuff and getting everything ready for winter because it's here hi ladies I don't know if you guys notice Oh, you have two black spots on your belly but our goats are getting their weight is like pretty much perfect now at night when they come in they're doing really good with their weight they're like they're doing amazing last night we were shocked at how good they looked yesterday I noticed that one of the babies is in heat and that means that they're all about to go into heat again. This is the last heat that we plan to miss before we start breeding. It's literally been impossible, impossible to keep them all separated. We fixed fences so many times. We've like, we've done everything that we can possibly do to keep them separate. So when we came down to put the goats away for the night, she literally came in. She got through this, like, I have it so tight now. She literally pulled this thing apart and squeezed through a spot barely bigger than that. Like, I couldn't even believe it. That was scary. Every time we break, every time he breaks through or they break through to him, we're here. We always catch it. I'm gonna leave this door open for the winter. Keep feeding, the, feeding them hay here. They have two other hay bales outside that I am going to keep filled for now, but they'll be able to come in. Don't have a place for the girls to come in. I want them to be just like our horses and have like a spot that they can come in. And yeah, they can come in here and Sam said he will build something. Even if we just section off like that area over there so that it's completely closed in and no wind can get in at them, that that's fine. Chores are done down here. It took me a long time today because 
I don't know why. I just took me. Today's Tuesday. We had a holiday yesterday for Thanksgiving. So today is te te so today is technically Monday. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It was wild though. And we're in rut. Did I mention that? Our goats are starting heat. They go in heat one right after the other. It takes about a week, week and a half for them to all go into heat. Can't imagine having a huge herd. Holy moly. And that starts a week of horribleness for us because we're trying to keep them apart still. We don't want our babies getting pregnant. Like I said, I dreamed that it's all just a joke on me that it's really hard to keep them from getting free. Like we have done everything, like watching out the window 24 hours a day for the whole week. Like we're watching, we're down here, we're making sure. And every time there's like a little breach, we fix it. And they create these breaches. Like they dig holes under the ground to get underneath the fences. That's what happened the last time one of our little girls got free. We we're right here to grab them, but holy moly, like so hard. I'm gonna bring some pillows down here. I'm just gonna use the ones from our front porch because I have to put them away for the winter anyways. Now that the whole Western show is over, the fair, we can mark that off our list. But we still have one more dream wish for this year. So Gabby wants to show Storm. I already told you guys. She's excited about it. So we're aiming for that now. We are working on building him up and getting him ready. And he's looking pretty good so far. But we just want to make him jump ready. Such a cutie. I know. <laughs> This is how we spend our days. So you guys remember how we were gonna keep the kitten downstairs in Gabby's room and she was so happy there. Well, she was until she wasn't. She sits at the door and she cries now. So she's learning to master the dogs. Yeah. She drinks out she needs, the dog's water. She needs to know the dogs. That's she needs good. to know the dogs. And she's really like, so our boy cat, Ollie, Does nothing. was terrified of them. And she doesn't care. I literally come in at night and she's over on this couch and she's all cuddled up on that couch. And all the dogs are all on the floor around her and she's just sitting up there like the princess that she is. These, hey, Ellie. These are the two worst ones. What she does when the dogs yeah, bother her, she screams. Show me. Daisy and the cat. Lying oh, the is that what that picture was? <laughs> Daisy and the cat. Lying, lying in the, the sun. sun. So well, I she's. Seen earlier, she was in that thing. So uh, yeah, she's exploring the house. She's taking us by storm. <laughs> it's been a while since we had an indoor cat. And it, she's really good, like. She's supposed to be a barn cat though. Yeah, you're, she's supposed to be a barn cat. But she's so sassy with the dogs. Like if they come near her, she says, <laughs> like she just pumps up her bum, humps her back and says, <laughs> <laughs> Molly hates her. Ellie. Ellie. Thank you. But anyways, they're all doing really well. She's doing exceptionally well. I was afraid that if a cat came into this house with four dogs, they would never be able to manage. But she literally is managing. <laughs> See? Like, she's surrounded by dogs right now, and she couldn't care less. She's doing really well. We have to remind the dogs constantly, like, stay yeah, away from her. Not my dog or Molly because they're terrified of yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, Molly's. <laughs> Molly's scared. She knows Molly's behind her. <laughs> wants to play. Probably she kind of wants to play. <laughs> Molly's trying to climb on anybody she can. Oh, oh. Poor Molly. We're gonna, it, we're gonna, it's just gonna take time. We're gonna acclimatize her to the cat and let her know that the cat is okay. It's the other two that want to chase her. Molly. Ellie. Ellie. Anyway, so far, so good. It's working out. I don't want to put her in the barn. If we decide to put her in the barn, she's not going in the barn until the spring because she's way too little and it'll be way too cold. But so. <laughs> she's taking over their spot on the couch. She's taking over their toys. Up here for them, for her, and I need I want to get her another like kitty litter for up here. Yeah, we need to get another kitty litter for sure, but then the dogs will eat it. That's the problem. 
Yeah, we need a covered kitty litter. That's our bench in the barn for the winter. I was stapling these things up and I hit one of the, I didn't hit a light, but I hit something and it made half of them not work. So now I have to start again. I have a whole nother set, but anyways, I have to finish the pictures and put pictures in there. This, this is, I like it. Do you guys like it? Sylvia has good advice. Uh-oh, hold on. Uh-oh, don't you horn my dog. We have to put the dogs in a stall. See, that's it, that's my cute space. I'm gonna bring more stuff down here. I have like, come on, get in there. Go uh, in. in. Ellie, Ellie in. Okay, oh my God. Stay in here because it's life or death, your life. It's Kelly McGuire. Okay, so look at this girl. Blossom. She's like, right Look guys. at this girl though. Wait, let me try and catch her. Wait, you have to, I don't know. You can just kind of tell. She's like so much thicker in her whole body. I put the brick there so that they won't get in that room. Well, I need in this room. Step over the brick. So I've come you to the conclusion. Open without the brick. Drag the brick away, I'm exhausted. <sighs> um, I've come to the conclusion that goats are only good for looking at. <laughs> Everything other than looking at, it's awful. <laughs> That's where my tin can went. <laughs> you know what, y'all can get up here. Oh, I'm sure they could get up there. Got her. Here. Put her up on the stand. Okay. No, I don't want her <laughs> Put your horns to my legs. <laughs> it works. Because it also blinds them so they can't see. See what's this is time out in goat language. <laughs> if you guys are worried that we're hurting our goats, think about what our goats are doing to us. Look at her. <laughs> Gabby spent like an hour down here last oh, night. Look. It really works. See? We're just touching you so you get used it really to it. Works. Because one day soon you're going to have a baby in another month. I'm not, she's not going to have a baby, but she's going to get pregnant. Yeah. So you're going to get pregnant. Yeah. See, it works. Yeah. This is the one that hates everything about so us. So this one, yeah, but look at, she's gotten so much yeah. more husky. Look at your ears, they're so soft. She's actually looking really good. She's the dominant doe, so she's getting the lion's share. Don't even. Of the food. We just want to touch you, good girl. It anyway, works. last night Gabby was down here with us and she doesn't know anything we do in this barn because she's not a goat person. Anyway, she wrote everything down up there. She wrote down all of our horses, all of our goats, everything. Well, she I just... got her baby easily. Yeah, her baby is easy to catch. Not really. Hi, baby. Here. <laughs> yes, she is. She just climbed right up there. She's like, give me grain. Here's my... This is what happens when, he, when Sophie wants to deal with you. <laughs> But the thing is, they get really excited about it and they sh they try and like headbutt you the most. They try and put their body into you. Sylvia well, and I have- I don't even have to hold her. <laughs> they think they're in timeout. She's like, I can't see. <laughs> we're going into winter, so we're about ready to lose the pool. We should go take Storm's blanket off. Let's go check Storm. Yeah, see the wall is so- well, This is how we lose water every day. And it was fresh and clean this morning. Oh, look at that storm cloud. Oh, look at that cloud coming in, you guys. Leave his blanket on. No, I don't want him to overheat. We can come back out if we need to. Look at it. It is getting dark. Sunny skies. Pitch black. It's coming, you guys. We're walking eye into storm. the eye of the storm. I think it's time to take his blanket off till light time. Okay. Oh. Ellie. Ellie, run. Wait, 
Look how dark Gracie's getting. Sophie's used to playing with the kitten now. <laughs> I'll go get you an apple, honey, Ella, Penny. Ellie, run! Yeah, Ellie wants up. Whenever she gets scared, she wants up. Honey. Come here, Ellie. Come here, Come here. How did you find the show, Sophie? It was good. He did good in an overwhelming situation. He did so the good. The show, I was like, oh, God, I'm terrified because all the horses were spooky. And you know what? Somebody they said, you said that the judge loved him. And someone said, the judge loved you both together. Mainly him. No, you guys did really like good too. No, you did really good. Oh, I carry a stick. Holly. <laughs> the only one who comes when we call her. Come here. <laughs> and the worm. Your mom's got one. I want to see if I can get her to lay down. Disgusting. That's what happens when you're in a stall. Oh, you gotta pick that up for her. She can get it. Wow, she's turning yellow. Yeah, stained. Yeah, it's dirt. I'm laying down the <laughs> stall. Stall, yeah. Oh. My favorite girl. She's definitely lost a little bit of weight since summer. It's funny how much, like, just from, like, the grass going, they lose a little bit of weight. These are our old girls, Willow and Penny. Willow's older. Yeah, Willow's older. Look how Penny, dirty. Look how dirty you are, Penny Pickle. That's a girl. See, I brought you one. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Ah, they try to bring the suckers down, singing louder than the crowd. Like helium. <laughs>